interview and job search strategies that work. So in this episode, I just really want to go over um, something, you know, of course I know about it uh, because I've done it myself, right? And that is when you when you have a job, you you know, it's a good idea um, to interview for jobs as well, right? And, you know, um, if you're, of course, if your employer finds out about it, you could just let them know, hey, this is the reason I'm doing it. I don't know what my skill set is in the industry. I want to know what don't I know, what do I need to know uh, to advance myself, and, you know, what things can I, that I not know now that I can learn. And that's really the whole idea here is, is why you go on interviews. And, you know, you really want to know, like, how do I compete? How do I, uh, how do I measure up against my competition? And you're not going to know that unless you go on interviews, you know, um, talking to your colleagues. And if you're, if you, if you're the person that knows the most in your team, um, then it's probably a good idea to go on interviews. Uh, cause the likelihood is either a, um, your, your team isn't strong, um, or, uh, B, um, Maybe, hey, who knows? Maybe your team is strong and you're just that much better. Um, But, you know, when you go to another company, uh, you could be the low man on the totem pole, basically. You know, you thought, oh, okay, my skills are so great. Or or you got comfortable skills. Maybe you're a, maybe you think you're a, out of of a, out of a hundred or, um, you know, one to a hundred, let's say your skill set. Oh, I'm a 80, right? Whatever. Let's say. Let's say help desk or Windows admin. Oh, I'm one out of eighty. You're uh, a Windows admin, your or systems admin. Let's say, um, or no, let's even go further. A, a help desk admin. So that's just pretty much um, that's a baseline, right? So out of a hundred in a help desk environment, you're a uh, you're a ninety. You're not the best, but you're not the you're not the worst. And so that's what you think you are, right? So. When you go and interview for another place, the help desk job, and there's other things that you have no idea, you've never heard of them. Some time management tools that they use that you've no idea what they are. Uh, that, so now you're thinking, oh, wow, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really like a 40 or, uh, or, or 30 out of 100, whereas you thought you were a 90 before. So that's the whole reason why um, you want to you know, I think it's a good idea for everybody to go on interviews. The other thing is uh, training yourself or getting training in um, ITIL. ITIL, which is, um, what's it stand for? ITIL. Okay. So ITIL is a framework of best practices for delivering IT services. Uh, It's a systematic approach. I'm reading this off of Google, by the way. Uh, of IT service management, and it can help businesses manage risk, strengthen customer relations, establish cost-effective practices, and build a stable IT environment that allows for growth, scale, and change. And and so there's there's uh, you know of course I googled right, but five stages of uh, ITIL right service life cycle. You got service strategy, service design, service transition. Service operation, uh, continual service improvement. Oh yeah, that's five. And you know that the training is really good. By the way, if you attend like ITIL training, it's very good. And uh, so, what's the reason? Why do you need that? So the reason you it's beneficial for you is if you can talk in their language, in business people language, basically, and you're a help desk admin. And you could say things like mitigate risk and uh, service catalog and um, change management, right? Those words they understand, like, oh, wow. So in the interview, if you, like, know those things, like, oh, wow, this person knows um, knows about this stuff. Wow, okay, service life cycle. Uh, because in, also in ITIL, they also have something about um, training people as well. Um, so that's not something, I guess, they don't bring up, but or that I haven't heard actually in the past, but um, having learned the ITIL training, that they talk about it. Like that's an actual thing. Like your, your, the people on your team, if they know something, their skill set, that's less risk for, for them. So that falls into the ITIL thing. And 
the eye till at first is going to be like really boring. Like, oh, what's this? I have no idea what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. You're, it's like you're hearing uh, the people from, um, like the teachers from uh, Charlie Brown, you know, and like, oh, wah, wah, wah. No. It, it, at first, it'll sound like that. Uh, but what helps is just to, to, to uh, play it out. Like you're a, you're a car dealership, right? Or something like that. Let's say you're, better yet, you're a restaurant. And then how do you apply this ITIL stuff to a restaurant? And then you just change all different things for IT, right? You just change things out for IT. The movie called Office Space, um, it's interesting, right? Like in Office Space, there's these things called TPS reports. And, and they talk about TPS in, in ITIL. I'm like, wow, I've heard that word before. But I didn't know any idea what it is. So interesting. So that's the that's the benefit of it. That's the benefit of going on a lot of interviews. Always keeping yourself knowledgeable of your industry. What don't you know? What do you know? Um, certifications. Um, always keeping up on your certifications. Of course, it goes without saying, right? If you have uh, the job requires a cert, get the cert, right? No matter what. But if you're you're always learning, or if you're always going to interview, you know exactly what your skill set is, and you know, record the interview, right? Um, and and play it back so that you know what questions to ask or how did it go? How is your tone? What type of things? If you can throw something in there in the interview about ITIL or how it works, you're really going to get a lot of points on that because they they know that you don't know everything. Who can know everything, right? But if you you understand how to get there, that's what they're looking for a lot of times in these jobs. Of course, some places you really have to know, like the higher you go, IT-wise, the more you should know, you should know the basics, right? So they expect, okay, you build on the basics. Like your help desk, that's a building block. Um, and then Active Directory is a building block, let's say, right? And then your next, you know, usually your next one is like systems admin and then a senior sysadmin. So um, you really, you know, want to know the, the help desk side. Customer-oriented, Right. And if you, if you know the ITIL stuff, I mean, of course, it's another thing, right, to throw at you, right, but along with other IT stuff. But if you understand how they perceive things and how they're looking at it, because um, you got to figure it, it's a company, they have to make money, they're um, a restaurant, they have to make money. So do they, you know, you could, for instance, you could do change management, right? For instance, like, oh, we changed out our vendor for... Uh, potatoes and now the potatoes are smaller so now the potatoes are smaller if i want to make homemade mashed potatoes i need more potatoes so it means i need more product to make the same thing as it did before so let's say the you know then you go in the money factor right how much does it cost and it's a bunch of risk and how long does it take to make it how do you do you need to train more people uh is there a system in place will that bigger potato fit in your device that you use to automatically peel it or whatever, right? Those type of things. But that's, of course, that's all, you know, that's all whoop de doo But that's uh, that's some of the things in ITIL. But anyway, just to follow up on this, um, the, the point of this this talking right now is just to, to really figure out what skills you don't have for the next step um, and validating your own and also what it does is it, it validates your own skill set because you know where you're at the bar level you know you could ask your colleagues can you can you interview i mean maybe you start there just ask interviews can you interview me on oh, this kind of technology and this like let's say interview me as a help desk admin what do you what things do you think i need to know and that person may interview you well the, of course they're going to have um they're going to be a little biased because they work with you Versus someone you have no idea, they've never to work with, who you're interviewing with, right? And, and, and you know, I always say, go interview for a different state somewhere over the phone. And, um, and find, you, you're going to find out that way. It's a different company. It's, you know, uh, across whatever state. Maybe it's a different country in your cases sometimes, uh, wherever you're at. Um, just interview somewhere else that way oh okay that's what it's like to work what you're doing is you're building like a like a little picture what what skills you need to have so 
Okay. Thanks, everybody, for listening to this podcast, and have a great day.